This tutorial is going to show how to basically take the pieces from their basic shapes to something ready to be printed. So we're going to tolerance the pieces, we're going to add a little room between them so there's like room for them to move around, we're going to fillet the pieces, we're going to round the edges for um, smooth turning, doesn't lock up, and we are going to hollow them. Um, the use of less material to make 3D printing much cheaper. Um, all right, so let's just get real right started. Um, click on, let's start with the corner, click the corner, press I for isolate. Um, first thing you always do is tolerances. Um, so for tolerance, you press T, which is the move face feature. Um, make sure you go to move face, you click offset first time we do it, it'll be different. Um, and then our tolerances, we're going to use, um, for this puzzle, to the tolerance really depends on like the size of the puzzle you're making. Let's use like 0.4 for this. Um, and then make sure you click this box, flip direction, that's really, really important. Um, now, what this does is you can basically click on a face, and it'll kind of like push it and it'll move the face for you. You can see here, that's the, the new depth that we'll be at. Um, but you don't want to tolerance every single face. Um, everyone tolerances differently. I'm just going to describe how I tolerance and how I know some people tolerance. Um, there are other ways to tolerance puzzles, but this is just how I'm going to show you for now. I'll definitely make tutorials describing um, different ways of tolerancing, which you do in like the cross section. But for now, we're not going to show those. Um, so this is what I do. I look at the piece, in which case this is a corner, and I picture if you were to take that corner and you were to pull on it while the puzzle was completely assembled, um, which faces would be hitting? Um, this is basically the face that keeps it in, keeps it from falling out. So, which face would be hitting? So, for instance, the corner, you think about it, you pull it this way out of the puzzle. These are the faces that stop it from falling out. So these faces are pretty important faces because they are the faces that keep the puzzle in. And that's why we tolerance just these. So I'm going to click on them. It's just this one face is the only face we tolerance. And see that previews, that pushes the whole thing in. You do that and press enter. And that's basically all of your tolerancing. This piece is good. I isolate, isolate. Um, press I for isolate. Um, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to fill up the pieces to round the edges. Um, and depending on what you're doing, you should fill it. You press F for fill it. Um, Make sure it's this fillet. You know, there's a lot of different um, depths you can fill it. Like here, it says the radius. You say you make it like one millimeter. Um, you know, depending on what edge you're filleting, you might want to do different fillets. Like external edges, you might want to do like one or two for this. Um, but <clears throat> you can basically just aesthetically, you know, pick which fillet to do. Um, I know a lot of speaking or something are familiar with something called a Florian mod. A Florian mod is just really big fillets here. So let's make four like Florian mod is you click these edges and fillets it. Florian mod is like big fillets here. So I might be like, oh, these this edge here uh, is probably going to collide a lot, right? So you can give it big fillets. Um, typically, when I'm speaking of you, would never use fillets this big. I just use 5mm fillets, uh, which is a little obnoxiously big, but speaking of you, don't really want to do that. No, you, you do for, like, say, your design speak of So I did fillets like that on those edges. Um, now I'm going to press F for fillet again. Uh, let's go down to, like, 2mm fillets. For this puzzle, about, you know, 2mm is pretty decent. And let's give all of these fillets. Whoops. These are just external fillets so the edges aren't pointy. Press enter. So yeah, that just rounded the whole thing. It's very pretty straightforward, simple feature. Um 
you know, for the most part, I only used extra rig fillets here because it seemed like that made sense. You know, at least for like turning preferences. Okay, I exit isolate. It's isolated again, and for some reason, exiting and isolating prevents a lot of errors. These axes are bothering me, so I'm gonna hide these. Sorry, that was a poor explanation of um, fill itself. I'll try to explain it better on the next one. So now we're gonna hollow. So you press H for hollow. Um, shape weighs the metal is 0.7 millimeters, so we're gonna do 0.7. You click show preview, click here, and usually when you're hollowing, um, when it, puzzle pieces are 3D printed, where it doesn't print material, it prints powder. And this is nice because it creates support. But we need the powder to come out. You know, you don't want the powder in there because then the powder might leak out while the puzzle's turning. So you have to make sure it all comes out. So let's click on this face for hollowing. Okay, you also want to hollow on a face that's kind of discrete, something that's not really interacting, which is like right here. So click hollow, click there, press enter. Uh, we look in, we see, oh, that looks a pretty big hole. So we know, okay, all the powder can come out of here. So this is good. This is a good piece. Um, this piece is pretty much done. You can exit, isolate. That piece is fine. Um, onto the edge, I'm going to go through this pretty fast. Click on it, press isolate. Um, tolerance T. Flip direction. You think of the edge being pulled out this way, this face, and this face are the two that keep it from falling out. Those are the ones I want to tolerance. Make sure you click flip direction right here. Um, check. Cool. Um, isolate. Isolate. Now what you want to do is the fillets. Fillets. Uh, let's make this five millimeters for this fillet. This fillet. Uh, usually five millimeters is just like way bigger than you ever want it to be for your fillets. But that's what we're doing on this. Now let's do fillets here. Let's make this like three millimeters. I only listen to music when I design. It's nice and relaxing. All right, so that's fill it. Let's fill it for us with two millimeters. Let's try two. There, there, there. Definitely don't be afraid of making big fillets. Um, we'll definitely improve turning. Most fillets are not too big. You can't have fillets that are too big. But for the longest time, all of my fillets were too small. And that's not really good. Save that. Now, sometimes when you do tolerances, it like moves the face. So what ends up happening is you get this line here, which you know I've never noticed when I've 3D printed anything, but might as well just fill them. So yeah, sometimes you have to do multiple fill of features per piece, but you know it's it's fine. There you go. There's that piece. There's isolate. Isolate H for hollow this face. I guess you can show preview, it's not too important. <sighs> yeah, powder could come out of there. We're good. Alright. Now let's center cap. Center cap, if you remember when we designed this, uh, we didn't give any tolerance to this face, so we want to do some tolerance here on these faces. Flip direction, you know, just so the center cap fits in nicely. Yeah, we only need that to, to be like 0.2 because it's compounds on each side. Let's isolate this. You do your fillets. Let's fill up these edges with a little, we could call it a florian model, which you mean, call it whatever you want. No, that's good. And the only other fillet we want to do is this fillet. Because think about it, when you want the when you put the cap on, you want this to face to be flush with here. So if you put a fillet like you put a fillet on like this edge, that wouldn't be flush. Alright. So let's fill it this. Let's bump it up to five millimeters. For our friends. Let's make this 
five too. Those are really large fillets. You really never need fillets that big. Notice some cubes have circular faces. It's not really that important, but I mean, oh sorry, you don't even need that. You can have a square face; it'll still turn. Um, now let's isolate this. Fit it here. You notice we didn't do any tolerances for that centerpiece because if you think about the method we used to determine tolerances, it didn't really, doesn't need any tolerances. Um, for this one, hollowing's tricky. You know, I might, I'm not going to do this, but you know, I might make a little sketch on this face and then extrude some little holes. It's probably ideal, but for now, you can just hollow this face, which isn't working. It's not working. Um, oh look, this face worked. This face is okay to hollow on. Look at that. I don't even know what that just did, but it worked. Um, yeah, that's an okay face to hollow on. We're good. That piece is good. Now the only thing left is the core. Now, the core. First thing you want to do is isolate it. Press T for tolerance. We're going to tolerance this face. You can make it pretty significant. Let's go like 0.6. Make sure you flip direction. The reason we can make that so significant is think about when you have the center end, all you can do is adjust the tolerances, and you'd rather be able to make it tighter than not tight enough. So that gives you a lot of room to tighten it. Um, you know, or you can loosen it, and there'll be a little gap there. So naturally, that can just exist. Um, now, what I do is this is kind of complicated um, to to hollow this because you do want to. What on earth is going on over here? Oh, scroll to the left. Um, how am I out of time? That's kind of okay. So um, you do want to hollow this. But there's no faces you can click to hollow, right? Um, I guess you could hollow on that whole face, but no, 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 that doesn't work. Not doing. Um, so what I do is I I'll make a little sketch and I'll kind of extrude it into here to make a hole and then hollow along that hole. So I'm gonna isolate this corner. And you press P for plane. Then you click on this. You click on this. On that. You got yourself a nice little plane. That plane is normal to the corner. Normal to the corner axis. Not really. Normal to is something you'll hear someone say a lot. Normal to is like, this means it's like facing it perpendicularly. Alright, so now I want to do is I want to isolate this. And we go to plane 2. Normal, press N to do normal to plane 2. Um, and then you press L to start a sketch on there. And I guess all you need is really a little circle to make it like five, three millimeters. Save that. And then you take sketch nine, and you go to features, you go extrude cut. And you're extruding. Just so it barely touches the surface. Ooh. That's even a little far. I don't know, that's this far. I just go select the bodies. Body one. Eh, I don't even know what it's asking. There we go. So that's extruded. And now we're going to pattern this so it's on at eight times. Just to help with powder drainage. So back to our axes, I'm going to show them, click them, press show, it's pattern, doesn't really matter which one you even pick for this, you can do any, press O, select an axis, features to pattern, we're going to go plus here, scroll all the way down to cut extrude, patterning four times, we're good. this. Right. Let's do 
do selected bodies. Just do body one. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's better. Interesting. All right. Now let's see these four holes were created. Now we need to click on this. Oh. Bump this down to two times. And we're going to do pattern, circular pattern. On axis. Why is it not giving me a preview? Is that one? There we go. Two. All right. There we go. Look at this. Now we've got these holes, and now we're going to press H for hollow. Click on that. Show preview. And basically, just click on all of these faces that you just made. That will give you a nice hollow core. It really isn't important right now for you know basic concepts, but. If you want to design a core, here's your core. Make sure you get all of them. Did I miss any? No. Now your core is hollow, and it's pretty much ready. Oh, if you notice the shells out of this, usually you want to make the core a little thicker, so the core arms are tough. Let's make it like 1.2. Oh, make it 1. Because you want the core arms to be thick, because there's screws going into those, and you don't want them to crack, which has happened. I usually make my core a little thicker. All right, so that's the basic um, way to design every part. In the next video, I'll show you how to export this and 3D print it. But for now, thank you for watching. If you have questions, please email me or post in the description. I will tend to them as fast as I can.